Hey everyone, I wanted to do a video of Rocky and I and how I pattern a barrel horse. The one on the left is trotting post trot to the barrels that jock around and the one on the right is loping around the barrels. So um, what I'm going to do is put them both in slow motion and zoom in so you can see my cues a little bit more. But I wanted to let you know that this was um, sometimes I know this is a question I get all the time how I pattern for the barrels. So as you guys know, um, Rocky's a little bit behind schedule for a couple of reasons. One, because of my hip needing surgery um, in uh, the end of February last year. And um, I've only been back on him since June, so the last seven months. And then also when he was born with Dismature, he was 30 pounds. He should have been 60 or 80. So everything with Rocky has been pushed a year behind because of his uh, physical and emotional growth. So uh, I've taken my time with him. I wanted him to be sound and, and healthy, but also a year got behind because of me. So with that said, um, last week I hauled him to exhibition at a big show with, you know, like a, over a hundred people. So that was good exposure for him. And then I took him on a two hour trail ride, which was really refreshing. And then this day I could have hauled him to exhibition at MBHA, but since I'm a member of this arena, I decided I wanted to go ahead and have an arena to myself. Now, mind you, when I got there, it was tore up. I mean, everywhere you could possibly set the barrels was just ruts and ruts and ruts. So I had to make the pattern a little bit smaller and push it to the inside of all the ruts. So it is smaller than a normal pattern there. So you'll see I'm post trotting as I come in here. I give him a nice big arc. This would be at least two strides if he was loping that I'm giving him before the barrel. So as he comes in, my focal point at this point is four feet going in and four feet on the back side. I stay two hands. I sit down as I got to the barrel because he is a push horse. A free runner, you probably would sit down, you know, back where the tracks cross or even a stride before. Um, but with Rocky, I don't sit till I get there. And then I focus on spot two. That's the most important part. So I'm thinking four feet going in, four feet on the back side. Now I start to bring my hands back here. And then I use my inside hip and shoulder and then I look around and then go back to two hands and move over right away. And then I get to the next barrel and again, I'm sitting down, not until I get closer. Now this one I did sit like right here. I've stayed two hands still, use a little inside leg. I'm thinking four feet going in and I wanted five feet on the backside. I wanted to go a little bit into this uneven ground because at home I always drag the arena. It's perfect, but at um, barrel races, exhibition stuff, you're going to be going into someone else's holes. So and I always finish tight three feet when I'm when I'm showing a horse what I want from them. So now I'm posting again. And as I post trot across, um, I'm, I'm going to post all the way until I get right here. And then as I sit for rate, I still put my legs on. And then I'm looking four feet going in and four feet on the backside. And then I sit back with my look and inside hip and shoulder and just lift my inside hand a little. And then he comes out nice and tight. So then I let him go ahead and trot home. And as you can see, my goal was to move over leaving first, keep my line really straight, leaving second to third and then over finish third. So he did really good. So then on my lope through, oops, let me do the lope through. On my lope through here, my goal, this is not my first lope through. I did two trots after I warmed him up. I used the whole arena just to get him moving. So I used the whole arena trotting, the whole arena loping both directions. And just there's four poles set up over here. So I just kind of weave through him, moving off my leg. And he was ready. You know, he doesn't need much of a warm up because he's lazy boy. So I did that with him. And then as you see me coming in here, I have two strides. And so he rates one here. Now, the first time through, I was trying to give him four foot pockets. It just wasn't enough room. Matter of fact, he even trotted around second. And then the second time through, I thought, okay, I'm going to give him five foot pockets. And I wasn't using my body quite enough. So I went ahead this time. And I really, the third time through, I used a lot more inside hip and shoulder and just said here on the backside. So here's the second strider eight. My hand is low and forward till I get to the backside. And then I say here. And I really sit back with my inside hip and shoulder. And then mind you, I did go to two hands quick and then I immediately used my outside leg to get over. He moved over nicely. I have not swapped my lead just yet, but he will swap his lead here, which is good. He swaps the lead right there. So then he rates one before the barrel. Now I thought five foot pocket. Look at my hand is low and forward. 
I'm keeping it extended. My elbow is pretty locked. Um, second strider right there. And then I bend my elbow, start to use my outside leg. Then I really sit back with my inside hip and shoulder and see right here, I, gave, I look, I turn my inside hip and shoulder. I'm sitting back from spot two to three. So that's really important, spot two to three, because spot one, I kept my hand low and forward. And then spot two to three, I bend my elbow, look and help him finish. So here's my second, whoops, wrong button. Here's my second stride coming out. And then I pull up on the horn, give him his head. I go back to two hands. And then he's moving nicely in a straight line. And I'm thinking right here, I'm thinking he'll hold his lead. I'm thinking five foot pocket, five foot pocket, and really help him on the backside with my body. So I really thought rate one here, rate two here, I thought pocket. And the reason why I'm going five feet instead of three or four is because we're not going very fast yet. And he doesn't have the fancy footwork yet. So it's better here. See how I take one stride here and then I take two strides here and I'm still in and out in two strides, but I'm thinking go in wide, come out tight. And when I say go in wide, I just mean I'm trying to think four or five and then three because otherwise when I went in a, a foot tighter on the, the low before that, I went in a foot tighter and he stepped off on me and I wasn't using enough hip and shoulder. So Mind you, I haven't run barrels in a long time myself. So the last time I competed was in 2020. So I was like, oh, you know, I got to get my timing back too. So I was really proud of Rocky. I thought he did a great job. So with that said, um, I really liked how he worked. And uh, I'm glad I made the choice that I did to go to an event where I had the arena all to myself. Um, and uh, I'm a member of Palatka and I can use the arena whenever I want. Rather than going to an exhibition line where I would be crowded up with a bunch of people like I was last week, which was really good for him too. So that's why it's having a mix, you know, going someplace where, you know, he's, I sit on him in private lessons and group lessons of five riders. So to go to an event last week that had, you know, a hundred trailers there and he had to take in a, an exhibition line with 15 riders and, you know, focus. But this day I wanted to work him by myself. And like I said, the ground was uneven. So that's new for him. Uh, to pay attention and know that barrels can grow in other arenas is important, not just our backyard, and different size patterns so that he, no matter if it's a big pattern, small pattern, we still go to our same arc, our same spots, one, two, three. So this is how I pattern a barrel horse. I hope that you enjoy watching this. Again, before I ever take my horses to the pattern, I want them to be able to lope the D pattern one-handed both directions. I definitely should be able to lope big and small circles one-handed. Um, all these things are super important and, um, and Rocky rides in an S hack. So just really works off my body and voice and leg. And, um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you.